Hello, my friends. This is Billy Wiggly coming at you live from the Ninth Island, Las Vegas, Nevada. And sometimes the mouse is mightier than the keyboard. And let me show you five mouse double click techniques that are going to make you mighty with your mouse. Check it out. friends how's everybody doing today let's get ready to get ourselves some double mouse clicking skills and what I'm opening up right now is a don't get mad get skills Excel workbook and I want to remind y'all to come check out don't get mad get skills.com my friends go to don't get mad get skills.com and check it out we've got the schedule for the upcoming live classes the seven steps to Excel success Excel basics broken down into seven steps live classes being taught to you complimentary all you got to do is be Registered at don't get mad get skills dot com and my friends pay close attention right there Whoops, don't get mad get skills dot com you'll land right here and you can start getting yourself some skills Register for these live classes. So let's get right into it double click techniques. All right, here we go I'm looking right over here at the on the side where I've got my notes on this monitor and the first double click technique is well I like to hide the ribbon so what I like to do when I want to hide the ribbon I just double click on any one of these tabs by the way in case you didn't know it the ribbon is where all of our tools are in Excel right up there so let's hide it because sometimes we want a little bit more space to work with so what we can do is we can just simply double click on any of the tabs click click and it hides it click once to open it and show it use a tool step out hides it double click to lock it in place double click to hide the ribbon so that's power trick number one with your mighty mouse sometimes the mouse is mightier than the keyboard so here we go my friends that's trick number one sure hide the Excel ribbon now we're gonna go with power tip no number two and remember I'm gonna show you five today and five more tomorrow so we've got the double click to open the ribbon double click to hide the ribbon how about the format painter let's say that you've got a format that you want to copy in uh, multiple cells so let's say that we got some data right inside this cell right here and we're gonna paste it in uh, a few other different cells boom just like that so I want to take this format that we have right inside this cell right in here that number format that color everything and I want to use that same format in all of these cells that we have right here so sometimes what you do is you click one time on your home tab and you go right here to the clipboard group and you're going to grab the format painter click one time to activate the format painter and here we see that the format painter has been activated you'll notice you'll notice that the pointer has a little paintbrush on it you see my little paintbrush that means that the format painter is active and notice the marching ants marquee that's the little click 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 the ants marching around the cell that's the marching ants marquee so that means that that cell is active and our format painter is active so wherever we click we're gonna paint that format remember that I want to paint that format in all of the cells that contain the word data so here I go click uh, what about the rest well double click use your mouse so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna start over let's go right to the cell that we want to keep click copy the format on we're gonna to go to our home tab and this time we're gonna double click on the format painter click click on the format painter now we can go click 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 start applying that format all over click 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 like that and then when you want to turn it off you can either press enter or you can just press escape my friends and let's move on to power trick number three rename your worksheets let's take a look at these worksheets right down here my friends 
So I've got all these different worksheets available to us and we want to go ahead and we want to rename them. So for example, I want to call this chart sheet and I want to call the, yeah, I just want to name it chart sheet one. So what you could do is you could right click then rename and then go ahead and give it a name right there. Or are y'all paying attention? Take a look. It's right down here where I'm working right down there. Check it out. All right. So to rename a worksheet, you can just click on the worksheet, click on the worksheet, right click on the worksheet name and then rename it right there. Or you can just be a mighty mouse and double click, click, click. And then now we can just rename it chart one and then this customer so we just double click customers list enter just like that double click all right let's keep on rolling we're learning right now let's go on to for example power trick number four fill formulas down vertically okay so let's say i got some apples and then i got some oranges and then I got some kiwi and I got some pine apples very good and then let me add another con control plus control plus inserts a row all right so this one's gonna be fruit this one's gonna be quantity and this one is going to be uh price there we go price just like that so i'm actually going to swap them around move this one right over there control minus price and quantity so that one is uh 199 that was 299 that one's 375 and uh ah, let's just let's just make them even that's a one dollar this one's two dollars. Let me grab these, two, grab these two, and continue on down. Boom, boom, three, four, and then we got the quantity, and we're gonna put the total right here, total, and then we're gonna put a formula in here which equals price times quantity. Enter, and then now right here we're going to put the quantity is. Two, this one is five, this one is three, this one is seven. Boom, there we go. And now we want to copy this formula all the way on down. There's, this is a really small range, it's just four rows. But imagine if we had, you know, it was like 100 rows, 300 rows, something like that. And then you gotta go ahead and grab the autofill handle right here and left click and drag all the way down to copy the formula, right? That's how we do it. Well, what we can do instead is we just double click. Just go ahead and put the mouse and double click on the autofill handle. Watch, click, click, and it'll copy down whatever you need to copy down. If you got formulas, if it's a number series, whatever. Do that one more time. Double click. And it knows to stop right here. How did it know? Why? Because these are just blank and it, all the data ends right there that's the last empty cell that is another power trick that you can use and here's the final number five how to edit a shape quickly yes shapes my friends you can put shapes you can make your excel spreadsheets all the way cool however you want to make it so that people are interested in looking at your data it's not going to be like oh man i don't want to look at that spreadsheet again it's more like hey that's one of billy's spreadsheets the guy makes it all really nice and pretty. Everything works. It's so easy to look at. Be like that. Remember, your brand. You think of your name as a brand. And here we are. We're going to insert a shape. So anytime you want to insert anything into Excel, you can just go right to the Insert tab. And here, we're going to say, hey, let's grab a shape. And let's go with a, a heart. Because why? Because I love you. And let's draw out that heart right over there. Boom, and there you have that heart. And now, if you wanna edit that heart, like this, we wanna change the color or anything like that, well, what you can do is you can click on it, and then you can go to shape format, and then you can start working in it this way. Check it out. So we've got our shape. I want you to look closely up at the ribbon, right up at the top of the ribbon over here, okay? The moment I click 
on this shape click now we're gonna see a contextual tool tab contextual tool tabs only appear based on the context you are in so when I click on a shape boom the shape format appears how that, what does that have to do with our double clicking well instead of clicking on the shape then going to shape format and start playing around well you just want to quickly format just click click on the shape click click and uh, you can edit the text boom just like that all right so instead of having to click go in the shape formats and look for editing text right in here you can just double click on a shape and edit the text that way so one more time double click boom just like that my friends so that's five powerful double click techniques I'm a big fan of using keyboard shortcuts but sometimes the mouse is mightier than the keyboard so stay tuned my friends come back tomorrow and learn five more double mouse clicks but before you go remember to go to don'tgetmadgetskills.com and register for excel basic seven steps to excel live classes where i'm going to be excited about answering all the questions that you have we're going to interact one-on-one -on -one with each other and we're going to get ourselves some skills so remember my friends keep on learning i love you and most of all don't get mad get skills aloha